Hey, gorgeous people of the internet. I've got a cat purring next to me. Um, oh, so I'm so thrilled. I, I've received some royalties for a track that I did. And it was, I think it was about the third track I'd ever done when I first started in the music industry in this way. I mean, I've always worked in music, but I was, you know, a teacher for years. Um, so this is the first one of the very early tracks I did about three years ago called Flex. And um, I have I used it recently in one of my films. And I, I'm guessing that that's why it's suddenly come to the fore again. So I really just wanted to tell you guys, you know, never give up. <laughs> because a couple of times I thought, oh, well, that, you know, it didn't get any traction ever when I first released it nothing happened nobody's interested in it it's clearly rubbish um it was actually one of my favorite pieces it, it's not particularly um clever I wasn't particularly good with the software at that point I think I may have done it on GarageBand I'm not even sure if I used Logic Pro at that point um I was really ex it's pretty experimental um but it's it has a lovely charm about it, which I always really, really liked. But the thing is, you, you do, one does like one's own music, doesn't one? I mean, there's a, you know, you don't put music out you, that you hate. Um, so I was, anyway, I was just, I was just so chuffed. And I, this was about two o'clock last night. And I just went into my royalties to check. I check them every month. And the other interesting thing I thought was, that last month I received 2p from Facebook and this month I received 8p and I I kind of thought well do you know what that percentage wise that's a big bloody increase and you might want to think about that um I've actually just decided today made an executive decision to upload all of the book of immersion videos to Facebook because they do give me revenue so why wouldn't I do that just because Facebook strikes me as a place for products. Do you know what gave me the impetus? I was the, the Slovakian um, prime minister who was shot the other day. Apparently, he's really big on Facebook. I haven't looked at his page. And I thought, well, that's really interesting because I didn't think anybody used Facebook anymore. I mean, I hate it because it's just so product based and they just turn you into a consumer. They don't you know, you, you have, it's very hard to have a personality, I always thought on Facebook, but clearly I'm wrong because if a, if a prime minister of a country has a, has amassed a huge following and it is always on there, apparently he's always putting stuff on there. Um, I mean, admittedly he's been shot, which, is, you know, maybe doesn't bode so well, but do you see what I mean? So I thought, you know, I'm trying all this with Twitter and TikTok and nothing really happens ever. Um, but perhaps, you know, I do know Facebook and, they do give me some money. So so perhaps I should focus on it as a, a money making, you know, project. It's monetized, so why not? Um at worst you you build your brand. Do you see what I mean? I mean they're not doing anything bad with my stuff. They're just giving me money every time an ad is placed on it through them. Um it does mean that, you know, they, they put ads on my content. But, you know, so does YouTube. So, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of used to that. So that's OK. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. So anyway, I'm I was actually doing the, the next episode of um, Immersion, the, the animation. Um, I'm not so worried about the Kindle books because they, you know, they don't sell. They're not really my thing because they're. They're too difficult to illustrate. The The whole publishing process is a pain in the arse, frankly. Um, I don't like the digitization of books. I like book books. Um, so all of these things make me sort of hate the whole Kindle thing and the, and the sort of Amazon thing. I do get money from Amazon. I get um, royal, sort of royalties from them as well, but it's not very much. That's through the podcasts, actually, and through my music. But, it, you know, it's really not very much at all. Um, so it's very interesting how suddenly all these royalties have come in from France, actually. Yeah, that, I mean, that really surprised me. Why suddenly would I get something from France? 
Well, I suspect somebody's probably embedded the video on their site or something. I mean, that's all I can think of. Um, or perhaps somebody's used the track for something on, you know, a, a, on their own channel that I don't know anything about. So, you know, you, you don't necessarily find out where, who, why, what. You just, money just arrives. So that's really interesting, isn't it? It's, and it's quite, it's a bit unpredictable because I don't, if you don't know how you're making money, how can you make more of it? But in a way, you know, going in blind like that m makes you a bit more, um, you know, you're not relying heavily on, on this sort of slavery to a genre or, do you see what I mean? Um, so the video is sort of pretty much ready. Um, so I, I might get it done today. I might do it today. I might not do any music lessons today. Have a bit of a rest from it, maybe. Um, so, yeah, how exciting is that? I mean, that, that's just all I ever wanted to do when I first started this music thing was to make music for film. And suddenly it looks like that's maybe what... I'm going to be doing you know professionally that's that's what I can say that's my you know my thing I was never going to be a pop star or anything like that. I never wanted to be um I do like a bit of teaching but I you know teaching is very a very small part of being a musician um unless that's all you've got and it's not all that I've got so um so yeah guys I mean just persevere I mean that's I just thought that track is so old but persevere because we think, don't we, that on the internet, we think, oh, um, you know, within two days, you're old news. But I'm not sure that's quite as true as I thought it was. Um, the internet actually does like things that have been around a while. But, uh, you know, I'm sort of talking about 10 years or something. Well, certainly two years. Well, you're, you're nobody and on Google unless you've been around for two years. So that's that's the first thing. But then, you know, what? it's the social media, isn't it? You're only as good as your last Instagram photograph. You're only as good as your last Facebook post. This is the problem. It's so I think it's social media that's a bit more like that. It's a bit more, um, you know, it just wants new content, just devours new content because it's so linked with consumerism. And if consumers have a rest and keep old stuff, nobody's making any money out of them. They need to be forcing them to buy new stuff. Or engage with new stuff every single minute of it, every single second of every single day of their lives, you know. Purchase, purchase, purchase. That's that's the disease, isn't it? That's the that's the true virus. Um so yeah, I, I just I just thought, wow, that's such an old track. And it's, you know. So uh, funnily enough, I obviously I'm because I've been writing this book for two, three years, and the tracks were released at the time when I wrote each chapter. So now all that's happening is each chapter is becoming a film. Um, but I do, I definitely think it's giving them a new lease of life. Um, and the artworks as well, because I'm taking artworks from, from the strata. So, so it all seems to be kind of falling into place. Although I'm not making money in the ways that I expected, you know, or I, I thought I'd make royalties on the actual book, the words, you know, but it, it looks like it's the performance that, for me, is generating m musical income. Um, and we do think, I think, as musicians, oh, the only way to be successful is to, you know, be Beyonce or something. But actually, there are many, many, many ways to be successful in the music industry that you m perhaps don't realise. And, I, you know, my first success was ringtones. I mean, I don't really do them now. Um, I th I think I flooded the market <laughs> with my ringtones. I did so many, um, but you know, I, I, AI can do ringtones now, so you know I'm not required anymore to do those. The you know, the market's completely saturated, and now we have shorts, and you're allowed to use other people's music, and you know the the whole market's just completely different for ringtones. But three years ago, when I first started doing ringtones, they were they used to fly out, you know, millions of downloads for each one. So, you know, you ride the wave. What You ride the wave while it's high. And then when it disappears, you find a new one, find a new wave, I guess. Um, now, this phone, right, I'm recording on it. This is my new phone, my Samsung. 
I bloody love it, guys. It's lovely and big. I can type really easily with, I can thumb type both thumbs quite quickly. So that's lovely. My previous phone was quite a bit smaller. Now I bought the Ultra, the S, the Samsung S24 Ultra. And it's got a pen thing with it. I don't think I'm going to use that much because I'm, I think it's a bit gadgety, gimmicky, I should say. Um, But it's really nice. And the recording that I just did for my other show, for the kids show, Toddle Poddle, just did a, a live poem. Um, it, The recording was lovely. So it looks like the recordings are really high end as well as the camera. And I, that's why I got it for the camera. Now it does picture in picture. So uh, from the front and from the back of the camera on the same screen. Um, and I'll be utilising that for the music lessons particularly the cello because I haven't been able to get good pictures with the GoPro and the cello because of the lighting mostly. The piano is much better lit and it's white um, but the cello because it uses a mirror to see me um, in the distance you know and then you need to see my fingers and you need to see the music. You've got three points of interest, three points of focus on, on the GoPro um, and suddenly that's a lot of room. It's using up nearly a whole room. And you think, uh, oh, this lighting is, becomes an issue. So I, I have had some problems with that. Um, so I'm going to try and wa- I'm do a little experiment later, perhaps. Um, but we technically were piano day today. So I, th- I think I might ch- try the piano as well. A chord. Let's do a chord later on, guys. We love our chords, do we not? Um so yeah, how exciting. I I hope you're all going to have a really, you know, a really solid musical weekend. I love working with music on the weekends. I don't go out, I have no social life, I'm a total recluse. I just want to play music. Um or or you know, create the videos, you know. Um so that's what I'm gonna be doing uh this weekend. I also have a new track to to get down and I, I was practicing a little bit of piano for that got a beautiful beautiful piano accompaniment for it very excited guys very very excited the music the music maybe maybe ai has not been the death of me after all <laughs> i was just so worried about it i was so worried that you know people don't need vocals hum- humanity um mad crazy musicians all of that spoken word I thought, no, oh no, we're going to die a death. I, th- I think it's the complete opposite. I think people are going to want mad stuff, you know, the crazy stuff. I mean, Flex is is a mad track. It's not, you know, it's not it's not um, ordinaire. So it just goes to show, doesn't it? Do something crazy. Go with your heart. Right. Have a great weekend, guys. Check me out on Lounges TV as well. Just um, search for iServerland.